we're going to talk about architects or builders that get inspired by nature. So they make buildings that look like nature or that can fit into nature. So right now we're going to learn about Zaha Hadid. Can you guys say Zaha Hadid? This is The World is Not a Rectangle, a Portrait of Architect Zaha Hadid by Jeanette Winter, published by Beach Lane Books. In Iraq, rivers flow through the green marshes. Wind swoops across sand dunes and through ancient cities. Zaha Hadid sees the rivers and marshes and dunes and ruins with her father and imagines what cities looked like thousands of years ago. In Baghdad, where Zaha lives with her family, she dreams of designing her own cities. Zaha looks long and hard at patterns in her Persian carpet and sees how the shapes and colors flow into each other, like the dunes and rivers and marshes. Zaha has ideas. She designs clothes for herself. She arranges her furniture. She loves her mirror because the corners aren't quite square. There are no corners in the dunes or rivers or marshes. Zaha is a Muslim who attends a Catholic school and loves math and still thinks about the ancient ruins. She leaves home to learn more about cities and how to build them. She has ideas. In London, Zaha studies to be an architect. She fills notebooks with plans and designs. She makes paintings of the cities she sees in her mind. Zaha graduates with honors, rents a room in an old school building, and opens her own office called Studio 9. A few friends join her. They all work hard night and day making drawings and plans. They never slept. Zaha's designs don't look like other designs. Her buildings swoosh and zoom and flow and fly because she believed the world is not a rectangle. No one wants to build her unusual designs. They say they can't be built, but Zaha knows they can. So she enters competition after competition, hoping to win, hoping someone will be brave enough to build them. Finally, one of Zaha's designs is chosen. The architect judges think her plan is best. But the committee doesn't like it and won't build it. They hold another competition. Her design wins again, and still they refuse. They say, she's an Arab. This can't be built. Impossible. She's a woman. Now, is she's an Arab or she's a woman a good reason to give her not, not, give, not give her the job? No. That's a bucket dipper, what they're doing right now. So she doesn't let that get her down. She keeps going. Hadid means iron in Arabic, and Zaha is as strong as iron. She keeps on working, one plan after another. I made a conscious decision not to stop, she said. Zaha remembers the grasses in the marshes swaying and sees tall buildings dancing like grass. Zaha remembers the wind in the dunes and feels it blowing over and around and through her desert building. Zaha looks at shells and cradles her stadium like a cocoon. Zaha looks at stones in a stream and builds an opera house like the pebbles in the water. Inside the opera house, a singer is the pearl in the oyster shell. Zaha looks up at stars and galaxies and sees swirling buildings. Zaha looks at waves and sees a bridge that moves with the water. Zaha looks at the Alps and builds a museum inside a mountain peak with windows to see the sky and the valleys. Zaha's ski jump reaches to the sky like the mountains. Zaha thinks of the jungle and ancient wood temples and builds a wooden building to remember a faraway war. One by one, Zaha's designs become buildings all over the world. We do this so you, you can be in a simple place and feel good, Zaha said. 
Zaha is so busy now that every room in the old school building is filled. Over 400 architects work in these rooms, designing planning, engineering, and making models of Zaha's visions. So she went from having three friends helping her to 400. Zaha says you should do what you like. Zaha designs a dollhouse and shoes and chairs. She designs a stalactite sculpture and an iceberg seat. I can't stop thinking, she says. Sometimes when she's working, Zaha's early memories return. The beauty of the landscape where water, sand, reeds, birds, buildings, and people all somehow flow together has never left me. She says she still believes in the impossible. Then one night, the light in Zaha's window goes dark because she has left the world. But her architects keep their lights on, designing, planning, engineering, and making models of her visions, keeping her flame blazing bright, even though Zaha is gone. So these are her buildings. They are, what are they, where are they? So I'm going to show you guys pictures later today um, of the Cardiff Bay Opera House, the Awakra Stadium, the Signature Towers, the Biha Headquarters. These are all places, these pictures that she drew that she imagined, these are all places that exist in real life. And I would love for you to see them in pictures as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you liked meeting Zaha Hadid. And I would love if you would go check out Frank Lloyd Wright as well.